With the upcoming Doctor Strange movie, a new character will be introduced to the complex Marvel Cinematic Universe. Since Phase 3 is set to reach its climax in Infinity War, now seems like the right time to go down the list and see who will be in the movie, who might be in the movie and whose appearance seems very unlikely. Makes sense. Tony Stark aka Iron Man. Status confirmed. He is the one who started it all and has since kind of become the face of Marvel. Which is why we are happy to inform you that Robert Downey Jr. has once again been confirmed. After building Ultron due to his fear of the Chitauri army, it seems like Iron Man's nightmare is about to come true. Thanos is coming to Earth. However, exactly this threat could be reason enough for him to team up with Captain America once more. What's wrong about you? The whole world was wrong about you. Steve Rogers aka Captain America. Status confirmed. The Captain himself will also be part of the film again. Even though technically he currently isn't even a Captain anymore since he laid down his shield. The Russo brothers confirmed that the friction between him and Tony Stark won't be resolved that quickly. First the both of them will have to confront themselves with the consequences of their actions. Okay, that's enough. It is however expected that Steve Rogers will once again become the captain by the end of the third Avengers film. Damn right. Thor. Status confirmed. The son of Odin remained absent from the Civil War. Since he received visions of both the impending doom through the Infinity Stones and the approaching apocalypse of Asgard, he traveled back home. There he will soon go on his third standalone mission alongside Bruce Banner aka the Hulk. In contrast to the other Avengers, Thor has some information regarding the stones, which may make him a pivotal part of the plot. Vision. Status confirmed. During one of the coolest moments of Age of Ultron, Vision was created with the help of an Infinity Stone. Ever since, the eloquent and mighty android has been a mystery. We fear, however, that he may die soon, since Thanos means to gather all of the stones and one of them is embedded in Vision's forehead. Help us. Odd. Scott Lang aka Ant-Man. Status unknown. Paul Rudd's first solo adventure first and foremost gave the audience something to laugh. You wanna show me how to punch? Show me how to punch. That's how you punch. In Civil War, Ant-Man continued to do so. In the movie he revealed that he is now also capable of becoming a giant. As much as we would love to see him again, so far there haven't been any comments that confirm his appearance. T'Challa aka the Black Panther. Status? Very likely. Black Panther's first appearance in Civil War was well received by the audience. The head of Marvel Kevin Feige mentioned that T'Challa's story will build a bridge between the two upcoming Avengers films. Which is why we are expecting an official confirmation anytime soon now. Natasha Romanoff aka Black Widow. Status? Very likely. Scarlett Johansson's character is an absolute fan favorite and it seems like we will soon see our favorite redhead in her own movie. The actress told the press that she thinks she will be in Avengers 3, however does not know too much about it yet. Since the Russo brothers expanded her role in both The Winter Soldier and Civil War, we are almost certain to see Scarlett in her iconic role once more. Hey, Carol Danvers aka Captain Marvel. Status? Possible. Brie Larson has already been confirmed to star as Carol Danvers in her own standalone film. Since this film will be an origin story though, it is highly unlikely that she will fight Thanos with all of her power. That however does not mean that she will be absent from the film, since Danvers had always been important, even prior to her gaining superpowers. Which is why now would be a good time to introduce her as a soldier. The Defenders. Status? Not likely at all. While the Avengers are stopping one catastrophe after another on the big screen, the Defenders take on organized crime on the small screens. Despite great success of the Netflix shows, it has already been stated that Marvel intends to keep its cinematic and television heroes separated. Stephen Strange aka Doctor Strange. Status? Confirmed. 
Benedict Cumberbatch will portray the Magic Doctor this fall. The actor openly announced that he schedules his work accordingly to the schedules of Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr., Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen, which is why he seems to have a lot of scenes with these actors in Infinity War. Sam Wilson aka Falcon. Status? Very likely. The most loyal friend of Captain America is also very likely to return once more. The Russo brothers are very fond of the character and continue to develop his character with every movie. Actor Anthony Mackie already mentioned to know a lot about the film. Since Marvel tends to keep information like that close to the chest, we believe this to be evidence for Falcon's return. The Guardians of the Galaxy status very likely. The Russo brothers admitted to be huge fans of James Gunn's space opera and especially when it comes to Chris Pratt's Star Lord. At the same time they announced that Infinity War would be the climax of everything we have seen so far. Since the cosmic villain Thanos is an enemy to the Guardians as well, we are only waiting for an official confirmation. Vin Diesel who voices Groot did already confirm it on his official Facebook page. The directors and Marvel executives however have not. We however have faith in Groot and can't wait to witness the encounter of the Avengers and the Guardians. What a bunch of a-holes. Clint Barton aka Hawkeye status very likely. In Age of Ultron Hawkeye's character was significantly developed. Since the Russo brothers pulled the archer out of retirement in Civil War we are pretty certain to see him alongside the captain again in Infinity War. I'm Clint. I don't care. Bruce Banner aka the Hulk status confirmed. Many fans are still hoping for another Hulk standalone film. When asked about it, Mark Ruffalo stated that even though this would not happen, his roles in Thor 3, Avengers 3 and Avengers 4 kind of felt like a standalone film for the Green Giant. Thus, he has been confirmed to appear in Infinity War. And Hulk. <sighs> Smash. Loki, status uncertain. Our favorite MCU villain will soon appear in Thor Ragnarok. I am a god, you dull creature! Originally, Heimdall actor Idris Elba accidentally revealed to appear in the film alongside Tom Hiddleston. However, Hiddleston surprised the fans worldwide when he stated that he may not return as Loki. This is my bargain, you mewling quim. Nick Fury, status very likely. Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury was last seen in Age of Ultron. The actor earlier revealed not to appear in Civil War. However, he also stated that he would more than likely return for Avengers 3 and 4. We definitely want to see the eye-patched badass once again. Wanda Maximoff aka the Scarlet Witch status confirmed. Elizabeth Olsen's character was actually one of the first roles to be confirmed for the film. After this. I am something else. The Russo brothers commented that Wanda will have to overcome an internal conflict, which will be a pivotal plotline in Infinity War. Additionally, Benedict Cumberbatch stated to have some scenes with her in the film. We are looking forward to see the powerful witch again. You're pulling your punches. Peter Parker aka Spider-Man status very likely. Even though nothing has been confirmed officially, we do believe to see the web crawling hero in Infinity War again. Big fan. Spider-Man might be Marvel's most iconic hero and the studio invested a lot in order to introduce the character into the MCU. That is awesome dude! Which is why we doubt that he would be absent from their biggest movie yet. Stark said you'd say that. James Rhodes aka War Machine status possible. Even though Rhodey was severely injured in Civil War, the film ended with Tony giving him artificial legs. Okay. No, no, don't, don't help. Don't help. This could hint at the comic books in which War Machine becomes increasingly more cybernetic. A storyline that may unfold in Infinity War. But as of now, nothing has been confirmed. Hope Van Dyne aka The Wasp status not in the film. During a post credit scene in Ant-Man, Hope received her mother's suit, which would soon turn her into The Wasp. Evangeline Lilly confirmed however not to be in Infinity War. Her character will next appear in Ant-Man and the Wasp which will focus on the origins of that character. However, apparently she will appear in the Avengers 4. It's about damn time. Bucky Barnes aka the Winter Soldier status confirmed. The Winter Soldier was one of the main driving forces behind the events of Civil War. The Russo brothers confirmed that both of these films will be closely linked and that Bucky and Tony Stark will soon cross paths in Infinity War once again. 
Sharon Carter, aka Agent 13, status unknown. One of the biggest surprises of Civil War was the revelation that Sharon Carter is actually the niece of Peggy Carter. At the same time, the movie showed the beginnings of the romance between her and the captain. Whether or not she will appear in the film is unknown. What do you think of this huge amount of characters? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about the Infinity War or the villains in Spider-Man Homecoming, then check out these videos.